we will discuss how to improve the VRP software versions in our Huawei's uh, network device using FTP and TFTP. Okay, uh, this is an example. In this router, now it's running the version of 5.90. Okay, this is the older version. Okay, now the new version is invented. Okay, that means the new version 5.160. This version can provide uh, the new features or have fixed fixed the bugs in the older versions. So we need to improve the versions. Then how to do it? Okay. Uh, first, we should know the operating system. Just a fire. Just a fire. Of course, the Windows is the operating system. The Windows have a, a bundle of fire, many fires, hundreds of fires. But the VRP is simple, just one fire. It's a package, a package. Okay, so what we want to improve the version in the router, we just download a VRP image, a VRP image package into this device. Okay, so we can use in the FTP, using FTP to download the new versions new fire, new versions fire to the router. Of course, the FTP is only the mechanism to send the fire between different devices. So you can also use FTP to upload some fires, such as a log fire, configuration fires, and so on. OK, uh, but in this chapter, we may focus on download the VRP new software package from the FTP server to the router, OK? Uh, first, the file transfer method. Uh, the FTP is a basic method that we have discussed. The FTP uses the TCP connections. As we know, the FTP, for FTP to transfer files from the FTP server and the router, there's two connections, OK? First, the connection is the use the TCP port 20, and another use the TCP port 21. The 21 is used to send the control message. OK, so this is a control connection. OK, and the 20 is used to send the data. That's, that means when the uh, VRP file is sending from FTP server to the uh, router, then the 20 port is used. So this connection we call the data connection. Okay, this is the twenty one is the control connection. Okay, and uh, there is a more simple method, simple method that we call the TFTP. This T, the first T means not means transfer. First T means trivial, trivial, trivial means small. That's the small FTP fire transfer protocol. Small fire transfer protocol okay uh, this protocol using the UDP okay and the UDP port 90 or uh, 69 okay in the, the TFTP is so small that it cannot provide two features first feature is the authentication so the TFTP is not secure there is no authentication if you use a TFTP server, it's running here, then anyone can download and upload files from TFTP server. Okay, no authentication. And another, the TFTP server without a directory, without a directory. The FTP, we know there's a directory. We can uh, uh, switch from one directory to another directory. But the TFTP without directory, there are only the plain list of files, a plain list of files. Okay. Uh, so, first, if we want to use the FTP to upgrade the software, VRP software in the router, first, we should configure an IP address. After the configure IP address, then to confirm, the router can ping the FTP server. That means these two devices can communicate 
of course, the FTP running on TCP, the TCP is running on IP, okay? So that basically, the IP should ping each other. They can communicate using the IP, okay? Then they can establish an FTP session, okay? Then, uh, before establish the FTP session, we should confirm the memory, the flash, the, fr the space in the flash is enough to download a new software. In this, in this example, if we use the DIDR, we can see in the flash, this is a space, total space, yeah, total, total space of the flash, but there's two mega left, two mega left free. The are all used. Uh, as we know, the VRP software, of course, this is one software, but it's a, it's a large software. So, two mega is not enough. So, what can we do? Delete the old version. Okay, delete the old version. This is the old version. First, delete it. Of course, when delete, we use the unreserved. That means delete completely. If you are not use unreserved, then this delete did not delete this file completely, just stored in the recycle bin, okay? So the space is not released. The space is not released. You, can, you still cannot download the new version of software. So you need unreserved or delete, then reset the recycle bin, okay? Then the space will released. If you DI again, there's many space memory is free, flash is free, okay? Then, after the space is ready, then you can connect a session between the router and the FTP server. How to connect? Using the FTP, then the server's IP address. Then, here, this server work as the FTP server, and then the RTA, the router, work as the client of the FTP client. Okay, of course, when logged in, the server will prompt for authentication. So, there are the username and the password, okay. Of course, this have already created, this should have already created on the FTP server. Okay, then, if you pass the authentication, then the prompt will change it into the FTP. Okay, then if you want to download, you must know the location of the new version software in the FTP server and the name of the new software. Okay, and then get using the get, then the software's name, and then this new software will download from FTP server to your router. Okay, and uh, of course you can use the TFTP server. The TFTP server is more simple. Of course, after you have enabled these two interfaces to ping each other, they can communicate each other, and then the space of the flash is ready. Then you're running the TFTP server on this on this server. Okay, then you can use this one command: TFTP, then server's IP address, then git, then the new software, new version's name, okay, that begins, begin to download, okay, begin to download. Then after the download, of course, the new software is downloaded into the flash of the router. That means downloaded to the hard disk of the router, okay. It's not put into the memory, okay? Put into the memory. So, the router still running the old version of the VRP, okay? So, if you want to run the new version, you need to reboot, reboot the router, okay? Uh, but before you're rebooting, you need to change the parameters for the startup. So, you first type in startup, then system software, that's the operating system, then the new versions VIP software. This is the VIP, okay? Then, of course, 
Now, what is now running? This is the older version. And the next startup using this new version. Okay, using this new version. And then, reboot. After you type this information, this command, then the system will prompt you that maybe the configuration fire, uh, continue fire, uh, configuration fire for the next startup, continue, yes or no. This is the configuration fire should save or not. If you did not want to save, then type no. If you want to save, type yes. Okay, and then we are reboot. Reboot, continue or not, then yes to reboot. Then the system will reboot. Of course, when rebooting, the new version of the VRP will load it into the memory. And then after the after finish the loading, then the router is running the new software, new version of the VIP software. Okay, and uh, then we have upgraded the VIP software version. Now there are the questions. Okay, what should be configured on the client in order to establish a connection with the FTP server? Uh, of course. The basically should configure the IP address. And uh, after configure the IP address, we should make sure the router and the FTP server can ping each other. Maybe sometimes if you direct connect, that's enough. If you connect remotely, maybe you need to configure the uh, routing tables or default gateways. Okay. And uh, then second question. How can users confirm the changes to the startup software have taken effect after a rebooting of the device? If you want to check if the running system software, system OS, the OS operating system is the new version, not the older version, first you can use the display startup to check if the running startup System software is the new software that we have just downloaded from the FTP server. Okay, the file name, just the new files. Okay, and uh, also we have another method. You can use the display version. Okay, use the display version to check what is the version currently running in the router. Okay, this is the two methods to check. What version is running in the in the router? Okay, 